Sunday continues tonight on Fox with the NFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Stream games live on your mobile device with NFL+. Plus. We're back at M&T Bank Stadium. Biggest game in its history. And 10 for 10 in that first quarter by Mahomes. It's the best start in a championship game since Rich Gannon in 2002 started 12 for 12. That's now 11 straight as Rice breaks free. Bounces off another hit by Roquan Smith. Wow. You can hear that all the way up here. Just listen to this, Jim. Got away from Humphrey here. We talked about they want it when Mahomes gets out of the pocket. Roquan said we want him to feel us. Like Clubber Lang and Rocky Three. I felt, expect I felt today? It. pain. Yeah. Could feel it up here. <laughs> Second and five. And there is the first end completion. And it was directed toward Richie James. And the, now they got a third and five. Well, this was all because the pressure coming on the right side. Mahomes has to get out a little early. James takes a flatter angle coming out. Mahomes expecting to go just a little bit higher. Previous third downs have been man to man. It's Hamilton on Kelsey. Kelsey and Hamilton right here. This is the matchup. You're expecting man when there's a line together. Mahomes back pedals to the 37. He's got time. All kinds of time. Now escapes. Fires it at the last second. And Kelsey caught it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Mahomes takes a wicked shot while releasing the football, but you're thinking it's a throwaway or something negative is going to happen. And out of nowhere, Kelsey comes flying in. And what a start to this game for Travis Kelsey. I mean, he's made some catches. The touchdown catch wasn't easy. That one right there, the fourth down catch he had earlier, was quite remarkable, too. He's one catch behind Jerry Rice's all-time career reception record in the playoffs. Wow. Here's Gray, Noah Gray, next to about the 12. When all of these tight ends are healthy, this is a very difficult offense to go against. They've ramped up the last two weeks. I thought it was really smart by the coaching staff, Andy Reid, Matt Nagy. They brought 13 personnel back. They ran it out of it. They play action more than any team, and they take their shots. But you need multiple tight ends to do that, and you see that again today happening. Second and five at the 12. Kelsey's going to move over and now retreat back to the wing on the left. Going to run it with Pacheco. Traffic at the 10. It'll be third and three. Looks like Travis Jones of the Ravens was hurt. That interior of this D-line so dominant this year. They basically play a picket fence, I call it, which means they just Stand up the offensive lineman. Ooh, you see right there. That right ankle gets twisted. Well, here are the plays that I think will decide it, Jim. It's going to come down to a drive at the end of the game. What quarterback has it? Can you deliver when all is on the line? And then in the red zone, the third downs, you get threes or sevens. They need three yards for a first. Up top. Now going to run for it. He's got it. Just outside the five. Queen was able to finally trip him up, but after he got past the sticks, first and goal to go. Three for three on third down on this drive. That pay play fake right there allows him to reset. And it stops the defenders from rushing you, Jim, and that allowed him to get a lane and create that first down. Both quarterbacks incredible at extending plays. He's going to go with three tight ends. 
And first and goal. Like we talked about, this has been dominant the last two weeks. Pacheco crashes into a defender at about the two, and the Chiefs are at the door for a second touchdown in two possessions. What a different Chiefs team than years past. The high-flying Chiefs spread it out, throw it deep, do all this. They've had to figure it out this year. And Andy Reid's ability to get in these big personnels in the playoffs has really been a huge answer for them. And having their defense being really That's exactly what right. saved them for much of the regular season. Best defense in the Mahomes era here. Second and goal. It's back to Pacheco. Pacheco drives across for the Chiefs touchdown. What an outstanding drive. And I really think that shows you something. Kelsey with a good job taking on a flying in queen, but to me, nobody comes into Baltimore or even at any time it pushes these guys around. Just watch the left side of this offensive line move all those guys into the end zone, Jim, and create that hole. And then Kelsey takes on Queen and that was a big block for them. Huge. And this is a drive. How about this? Lasted nine minutes and two seconds. That wears on you, and it affects you, especially as the game moves on. You get tired. Butker, good again. Two drives, two touchdowns. Kansas City becoming road warriors in the postseason. After what they did last week at Buffalo, loving the role of the villain, loving what they're doing so far here in Baltimore. Up 14. Hey, the Ravens. Come back after sitting for a long time. Back to Flowers for the first play after the touchdown pass to Zay is a completion for nine yards. We go to Tracy. Jim, after that last drive, Steve Spagnuolo reminded his guys the keys to containing Lamar. And Spagnuolo told us this week, first you have to handle the stiff arm because it's a mean one. Then he said you have to cage him in the pocket, and when he does get out, you have to make him go east and west towards the sidelines. He told us Lamar is just so quick, you must hit and harass. And if he's not in space, don't go for the kill. You must stay in control and be fundamentally sound. Weren't able to do that on that last touchdown drive. Okay, Trey, second and one, and that's incomplete. Speaking of Spags, he spent two years on Harbaugh's staff. About 10 years ago, he spent a year as a consultant than a year as a defensive back coach. And he told us this week, I'm a better coach because of the two years I got to spend with John. John is one of the best coaches, really, this game's ever had. It's a little underrated because he came out as a specialty. But he knows all three phases, Spagnola as well. They both come from the Jim Johnson tree, which ultimately comes from the Andy Reid tree. Here we go. Amazing how often it gets back to Andy Reid. To him. Yep. Third and one. Hills the running back. Gets the call. He's got the first. Leans across. New set of downs for the Ravens. Look at the scrapbook for the Eagles. Team photo. Back in 05. Let's look at some of these names that are relevant in this case today. Spags, Harbaugh, Andy that's, Reid, others. That's just probably weren't aware of. Yeah, that's just in this game. If you look at all the other ones, too, you've got about five other head coaches, ten other guys you'd all know. What a staff. On first and ten. Lamar got hit from behind the ball, stripped. It was Ominahu who came from behind and knocked it out of his hands, and Karloftis has the recovery for Kansas City. Spag's defense responds. He takes a wide approach, swipes the hands down on Stanley, which is not easy to do, and times it perfectly. And that ball is out. Chiefs ball in games like this, the ball matters more than any game. You can best of all time there, and that's what Kelsey's trying to do. But you already talked about the most touchdowns. Yeah, in a championship, in a championship game, which he set today with six. And now there he is, side by side with number 80. And he's done all the heavy lifting on the big third mediums and stuff in man to man. They tried to run it earlier, they got stuffed. They've thrown it twice on third and short. Third and one. And a power ahead for the first. Pacheco 
They put him at the fullback position almost. It's a formation that Andy Reid's been running for 30 years, and it's a quick hitter inside to your tailback. Arthur Millette, who really can make a lot of plays and make life miserable for quarterbacks on blitzes, he is shaken up. Yeah, that's a big one, too, because that allows them to move Hamilton around to different places. He plays in the slot about 15 to 20 times, and he's a very effective blitzer from there. Yeah, scrappy former Steeler, and he's uh, at least able to get up and walk it off. Oof. He got hit, didn't know that Rice was waiting for him. Baltimore is used to bullying their opponents. They come out and they almost just suffocate you, right? Their will, their size, and their knowledge of their system and the angles they take, it just makes everything collapse on you, like the pocket and the person's like, you really want to keep taking this? But right now, Kansas City's doing that to them. Look at this, the direct snap to Pacheco, the fake to Rice, and that wizardry only adds up to about a yard. What a formation. Hold on a minute here. But they had Kelsey and Pacheco lined up in the backfield. It didn't fool the Ravens. No, but I'll tell you right now, Kelsey is blocking outstanding. Look at him right here. He's really taking on an approach. Put his nose in there, and that's what you have to do in a game like this. Every play counts. Second and nine. Slides, Clowney coming after him. Throws it incomplete, throws it away. I think Mahomes is going to want this one back when he looks. Go ahead and run it and pause it right here. Watch Rice inside. He's right there. He's guarded right there, but that's wide open. And Mahomes was waiting on Kelsey, but a good job by Washington to defend. The Chiefs are five out of six on third down. The only one they missed, they converted on fourth down. It's third and three. Third and nine. Caught. Kelsey falls forward. They're not going to give it to him. It's going to be fourth and a foot. I think they'll go for this one here as well. Kelsey does an excellent job of going downhill at the top. Kelsey with his seventh catch in the first half, and he now has the record alone. Wow. It's rare you pass Jerry Rice in anything. It's crazy. That almost looked like a first down to me. It did. Is that challengeable? I, I might have challenged that. Fourth and a foot. Pacheco, I don't think he got there. Hamilton came up. I'm telling you, this is as difficult a team to get a foot or a yard on. They've done it twice. But after you did it last time, you're going to try it again. I think his knee is down. Hamilton comes in from behind the knees down there. That's going to be short. It's a huge stop right there for Baltimore, like you talked about. As you see, Lamar, first time really a design quarterback run after a play fake. But do you remember our AFC Championship game two years ago? Kansas City went down at the end of the half. And they could have kicked that field goal or something. They got stopped right at the end of the half. And I thought that changed the momentum and the of the game. The Cincinnati ended up coming back. It was a very similar situation. This helps Baltimore with the emotion of the game. Keeps it a one score. Second and five. Ball batted up into the air and caught by Jackson. He caught his own pass. That's one of the greatest plays I've ever seen. This is intercepted 100% by the Chiefs read and Lamar uses the instincts the God-given gives the awareness to go beat him to the punt <laughs> and makes one of the greatest plays you'll ever see in a championship game well Reed was gonna have it but Jackson just jumped in front of him and completes a 13-yard pass to himself Wow, you want to be in the category of Patrick Mahomes you got to win this game today but also 
I think other people want to be in the category of some of the stuff that Lamar does. Whatever it takes. Flowers on the end of round. Dana has them after one. Wow. Still can't believe that play, Jim. Well, it all comes down to this. Stream Super Bowl 58 live February 11th on Paramount+. Plus. Did you ever catch one of your own passes? Yes, but usually I was just playing catch by myself in the backyard. Okay. Second and nine. They're giving up a run to the left if they wanted it. He's in trouble. He tried to get it away, and it's ruled incomplete. That might be close to having a shin or a knee down. It did look that way. And he threw it. And that's the dominance of Chris Jones, first team all pro. Watch this just push Simpson right into the lap. We talk about the suffocating of the pocket the Ravens do, and that had a chance to be a pick six. Let's see that knee. Yeah, he got it off. Yes, he did. Chris Jones just drives him into the ground, and it's just an incompletion in the uh, end. Third and nine. And then a who not out here. Chris Jones needs to dominate this game for them. He's right here. He's their best defensive player. He's their best D lineman. And he's unbelievable at situational football, knowing when the big plays are. And this is one of them. Sidearm knocked down by Jones as he marches right to the sideline, knowing he just ended the Ravens' drive. And that's the instincts of him, and he does that all the time. This team leads the NFL in batted passes, and it's because of guys like this. I mean, that's a D lineman, D tackle. Who just waited it out and used a little shuffle to get that. So Stout will be out to punt for a second time. His first punt went 66 yards. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm here to tell you that play would have been a first down if they'd have got that completed. The Stout, not much in time. Picked up on the bounce by James. He falls forward near the 29. And look at this. Down the field. Tangled bodies. No flag. Going for Rasheed Rice. Hamilton had that sealed off. It was a great job by Hamilton coming out of his spot. By the way, the Grammys live next Sunday right here on CBS. Well, there's Taylor Swift, and she's going to be there at the Grammys. And she could break the record for the most album, album of the year wins. Find out live next Sunday right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Well, it's a second and ten. It's been showery on and off. Low snap to Rice. No game. Hamilton's all over this field. You called it. He is all over. He plays multiple positions. This was the matchup. First team all pro for a reason. Watching the right side of your screen is going to come flying in. He takes on the block of Watson and says, no, nope, you're not blocking me. Right there. Throws him. Huh. This is a football player, Jim. He does everything for this team. That's why they're so dominant, good on all three levels. He's Ray Lewis's favorite player. Mm. He goes on and on. He says he just loves watching 14 play. Third and 10. Again, a low snap. Here comes Hamilton. Mahomes just has to unload it as Kyle Hamilton. It's like there are two or three of them out there. To me, your ability to time the blitz is one of the most important things. He doesn't show it. He doesn't show it. He doesn't show it. And then all of a sudden, here he comes. And Mahomes is as good as anybody at figuring out who's coming, Jim. He makes the protection go to that guy. Baltimore gets an unblocked guy free. Hamilton just in his second year out of Notre Dame first round pick a year ago Townsend His first punt To Duvernay who's dangerous Won't get a chance though to handle it and it's scooped up and stopped by P Ryan at the 40 just a short punt that time of 31 yards Timeout as 247 remains first half 